from the Bakersfield, California. And this is the Renegade Report. And here's your host, Francis Mayer. Good morning, everybody. I'm Francis Mayer, Sports Information Director for the greatest athletic department in the known universe, Bakersfield College Athletics, since 1913. That's right, over 100 years we've been shaping young men and women into student athletes. And today we're going to talk to a wide assortment of them because we've had a lot of stuff going on on campus lately. We have two teams in the playoff hunt in men's and women's basketball. Our softball team just got done doing the Renegade Classic Softball Tournament. And we've got swimming, we've got gymnastics, we've got, no, we don't have gymnastics, I made that up, but you're paying attention and I'm proud of you. Right now we're going to get to our first guest of the morning, Bakersfield College softball players. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Fantastic. How about you? Well, I'm super. I think you know that. That's great. I'm, I'm regularly super. <laughs> you are. Um, you are. You're especially right. when I'm at your games because you guys win way more than you lose. Um, you started the season <laughs> on a 6-0 run. Yeah. I think Trinity Lee appeared in every single game that you guys play. Um, and then you ran into Moore Park on last Friday. and uh, Sa- It was Saturday. Oh, it was Saturday. Saturday. It was Saturday. Why don't you Saturday. introduce yourselves first in case the folks are watching <laughs> from left to right? So, um, my name is Brittany Pitts. But it's not Puets. Puets, no. It's, it's Pitts. Yeah, it's very deceiving when you look at the way my last name is spelled. Right, and we have uh, your parents have spoken to yes. me about the pronunciation of yes. your last name. My name is Samantha Puskerich. Puskerich. Yes, you call me Puskerich, but it's okay. Uh, well, the... You- <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> and I'm Victoria Appling. My name's pretty pretty simple. It <laughs> sounds very, just like it's spelled. It yeah. is, thank goodness for you. My favorite. All right. Uh, so now you've met him. We're back to Saturday. We, we square off against Moore Park. They're no joke. No. Mm, no. Uh. Be, well, well, good <laughs> sportsmanship. You, okay. They, I had a wonderful tournament at Moore Park College, mm-hmm. so I, I'm, I'm very fond of it. You know what? They are a good team. I will give them that. They have a solid offense. But yes. if you want to know the truth, athletically wise, and just our team as a whole is a lot better than them. And I, I'm not trying to, to down our team or anything like that, but we should have beat them. Yes. And um, we were neck and neck with them in that game. But I think errors, is, errors are what lost that game. But there was also an issue, and that game is actually being, um, what is it, contested? Protested. Protested. We, we finished it under protest, right? Yes. Yeah, it's um, under protest. There was, they put it in a sub, and they let the blue know, but the blue never let us know. And mm. by blue, you mean yeah. the umpire. Yeah, the yes. umpire. And you know what's crazy about that is when I'm doing uh, announcing for your games, like, the umps are really crazy about when I announce a substitution. Like, coach can take the pitcher out, bring the new pitcher in, the pitcher can, the, the new pitcher can have thrown 10 warm-up pitches, and if I say, now pitching, Brooke Quidham, the guy, like, shoots me a dirty look and shakes his finger at me <laughs> he has to go from one dugout to the other and then he stops behind home plate turns around and says pitching change and yeah. then i can announce it so there's these very set rules and set protocols for doing this and samantha you're saying that that didn't happen and so we're yeah. playing the game under protest yeah and um we were gonna try and get it as an out since the substitution was not notified to us and but what yeah. happened after that um the blue said it was his fault so he's not gonna penalty them so she ended up staying on base, and then that actually is the inning that they've scored a lot. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. Well, and that's the thing, like walks early in an inning or an error, like they can come back to haunt you, and it sounds like some of that stuff happened. Mm-hmm. Um, I did notice you guys just the other day, uh, Miss Appling, you guys were working out – um, in front of the Gil Bishop uh, Athletic Center, and you were doing a drill where the coaches stood behind you and fired tennis balls. <laughs> T- tell us about that drill. What was that? Um, well, the tennis ball drill is just for your hand-eye coordination. You have to stand looking at the wall, and they'll fire them underneath your legs, and you have to respond quickly and just move your body to wherever you can get it. And you have to do five clean in a row before you're allowed to go to the back of the line. Did anybody get hung up and have, like, 20, 25? Yeah, actually, ball? actually, there was, like, a few girls that um, – just couldn't do it or just wasn't responding quick enough <laughs> and so they ended up having to do a little bit more than five i was <laughs> lagging a little bit with that one i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i was i was tired though i was so grouchy <laughs> right 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 now i know the uh, renegade classic took a lot out of a lot of folks i mean it was softball softball from like oh, sun yeah. up to sundown oh yeah yeah it, it was, was crazy sunday was crazy we yeah. got rained out our last game mm-hmm. and we literally had to pick up 
the snack bar, the flags in the pouring rain. Yeah, we were literally drenched by the time we got back to the locker room. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah. No, that is that is no fun. Now we have by far the most beautiful softball facility in yes. the state of California. Yes, no doubt it's about gorgeous. It. Dean Gay Softball and Baseball Complex is beautiful, but it is built in a uh, in a natural little valley there, mm-hmm. a natural depression. So unfortunately, drainage is an issue. Um, and, and that's what leads to the, the rain outs. But thankfully, I, I think it's going to rain maybe three days in the next year. Unfortunately, this <laughs> Saturday, I understand your coach is telling me that yes. it might be one of them. Yeah, it's a yeah. 60% chance this Saturday, and we have two games. Yeah, and these games Santa are the Burma. exact same games we've San, already San Bernardino. Yeah, we've already rescheduled these games. <laughs> So this is a doubleheader against San Bernardino? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know, are, are they good? Have you guys played them before? Uh, we haven't played them, but I was actually talking to our coach and Trish, who is one of our trainers, mm-hmm. and um, they were kind of just giving us a good, a general idea of what they would be like. They're not high up there like Cypress or Mount Sac, but they're not like a, a lower tier team. team. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess you could say. They're, they're just basically, they're a team that you can't take lightly, basically. You know, just push hard through the first couple innings, get on top of them, and then shut them down. Yeah, one other thing you can't take lightly is a softball because that thing is soft. <laughs> only all three of you ladies have experience behind the plate, but uh, uh, Ms. Pitts, you, you took one off the chin, didn't you? Um, yes, on my left cheekbone. Look right into that camera with the red. Look straight on. <laughs> Pretty girl, but do you see but yeah, the left side of her face right a little swollen here. there? It really hurts a lot. And actually yesterday, um, it wasn't hit. Um, one of my teammates threw the ball. I didn't field it properly, and it short hopped me and hit me in the face. So um, I actually ended up having to go to the training room after we finished our drill to make sure I didn't have a concussion, and to double check to make uh, make sure I didn't chip a bone or anything. Because uh, everybody on the team knows I am notorious for breaking bones. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have, have to you go. Have really broken a lot of bones? Look at her finger. Yeah, I okay. Fall Did season. You have a booger finger. <laughs> no, I uh, fall season. I broke two of my fingers and then today actually I'm getting double checked to make sure I didn't break like a piece of my jaw <laughs> <laughs> but my middle the tip of my middle finger on my right hand I I like literally had a hairline fracture like right at the top and then my ring finger on my left side which is lovely because that's where a wedding ring is wedding ring is supposed to go is permanently disfigured dude yeah boy's not gonna be able to put it on <laughs> they're gonna have to re-break it just so yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be straight that, that. thank that, you champ. yeah see that that straighten it I can't. <laughs> well, I'm trying to straighten it right now. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to injure you. No, it's fine. It's no big deal. I have a very high pain tolerance. Well, that sounds like <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh, playing catcher is one of the toughest positions on the field because uh, you have to crouch. And it's scary, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Yeah, People I wouldn't. Sw- not scary. I wouldn't call it scary. It's it's not that it's scary. It's just you have to have quick reaction times. Yeah. I think it's scary. You have to be you have to <laughs> be physically interested. physically and mentally tough. Yes. to right. be behind the plate. Okay, what happens when you're behind the plate and the batter swings and the ball's coming? What do you do? How do you not blink or go? <laughs> <like>? <laughs> After so many times yes. you do it, it just comes naturally. Mm-hmm. You have it has to be repetitive. You have to get yourself adjusted behind the plate so that way you don't flinch whenever the ball's coming and they swing and like they miss. So is that is that the same for you, Sam? Yeah, I've gotten used to it. Mm-hmm. How? When did you start catching? Uh, when I was like seven. Did your dad want you to be a catcher? Yes, I actually wanted to be a pitcher my whole life, and he told me I would never be a pitcher. So he got me into catching because he played baseball, and he was a catcher. My uncle played baseball. He went to Vanderbilt to catch. Oh, he went to old Vandy. Well, there you go. I mean, we'll never hear the end of that, right? (laughs) Yeah. Um, So... and I've met your father. He's not a little man. No, he's not. He's a he's a big dude. Yes. <laughs> kind of feel like a boy when you're standing next to him. <laughs> um, so he played baseball as well, and he was yeah. like, nope, you're going to be yeah, a catcher. Yeah, pretty much. I had no choice. Wow. Well, I, it, you know, we, we lack catchers. We have several good ones on this Renegade softball team, so we're very fortunate for that. Um, and I know that uh, the team is getting healthier. We had a couple people out with concussions in the Moorpark game, so we yes. were, like, very shorthanded it's on two of, Yeah, two of our uh, starters, mm-hmm. Vanessa, our catcher, and Jess, who is a pitcher, and our second baseman. Yeah. They're both very solid sticks yes. as well. Oh, yeah. Both yeah. of them. Have they both hit home runs? I, Vanessa has, I think. Vanessa's hit two. Jess hasn't yet, but she's a very solid contact hitter, and yes. she's got a lot of power as well. So one day, it's, 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 it'll, it's it'll come. Yeah, she's going to hit happen. it over the fence. Now, I think we have some pop in our lineup. We've oh. seen quite a few oh, balls definitely. We have a yeah, lot yeah. of power in our lineup. We have a very powerful lineup. One of the things we lack, though, is speed. Oh. Not going to lie. We've, I mean, we have Alex and Brooke. They're very fast. They've got a lot of speed. And Quick. That's, yeah. 
and they're at our, the top of our lineup too, so which is great. So when we have both of them on the bases, we're lethal. Oh, yeah. That's a it's it's a useful superpower, not just on the diamond, but in life also. <laughs> like if you could just run away from people, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Run away. Stop! <laughs> You're like, no, I'm so fast. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, that would be awesome. I, I am. I don't have wheels either, but I'm not letting it hold me back, and neither should you, ladies. Uh, you're six and two right now. No, seven and two. Excuse seven me. And two. Right? Yes. Okay. Seven and uh, two. We're we're looking good in the Western States Conference South. I think we're the gold division or red or something. We're actually in the the conference with the most teams. Wow. Yeah, and we have. Um, I was actually talking to Trish about it and. Uh, some of the returners, they said that we actually play one of the hardest conferences in the state. Is this true, what you're telling me right now? I believe so. It's just what the information that I was told. Appling, true or false? <laughs> <laughs> no contest. We're also okay. freshmen Plead as the well. Fifth. So. I do, I, yeah. Yeah, relax, relax. Uh -uh. I told you I'm not giving you the, the third degree here. Um, I know it's a, a tough conference, and I know that California Junior College Athletics are very, <laughs> very tough compared to other places. Yes. Um, I'm proud of my time that I spent at BC. I know you ladies are too, and we look forward to having you back for another season. Right now, we're going to head on to the other diamond that is at the Dean and Ada Gay Softball and Baseball Complex. That's right, Jerry Collis Field. We're going to be speaking to Coach Tim Payton about the Renegades. It's a young team. We've got some interesting sticks and some interesting pitchers. What is it going to take to put it all together? We have highlights coming up, plus Coach Tim Payton. Don't go anywhere. The Renegade Report will be right back. <laughs> 